Let us begin our worship. Today, fourth Sunday of the Pentecost, theme for the Sunday service, Who is this Jesus? Please stand together to worship God. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole world stand in awe of Him.
so glad and came to save us. Who is this Jesus? So this Jesus is our Savior, Savior of the world. Let us lift high on high and praise Him.
Jesus, you are the Son of God who came down to be with each one of us, took all our shame and burdens, all our sins upon you, and died on the cross of Calvary. And you are the risen Lord, rose again from the, from the dead, and ascended to the right hand of the Father, and seated at the right hand of the Father, and interceding for each one of us. You have been exalted.
unconditionally followed him. Some others, the other extreme, they wanted to murder him and they did it on the cross. And some others in the middle of the scale committed to different degrees. The question is, who is this that the wind and the sea obey him? What is my answer? Who is this? The Gospel passage forms the last part of chapter 4. Before this passage, last Sunday, we meditated on the mustard seed. It grows from a small seed to a big shell, but you cannot see the growth. What is the effect? It's from within. Still earlier, the passage in the same for the gospel. The seed that is growing by itself. The one who sowed the seed, and the, and the fourth chapter begins with the parable of the sower. One who sowed the seed, passed the seed, he goes along with his work. But the seed keeps growing from within as God's word. This God's word is invisible. And today's passage makes it visible for the disciples to see. Over death, over nature, 
over evil force, over bodily ailments, over death. That shows Jesus as the supreme power. Supreme power. Nothing is outside you. Is control. Nothing is outside the authority. Supreme, supreme. He does only what God can do. Only God can do. So these series of miracles.
They have not understood him still as the Messiah, as God's son. That's why they are just addressing him. Teacher, is it a more concern to you that we are finishing the economy? Nobody does this teacher. They only do him as a teacher. They haven't come to the level of believing him as son of God, as God. So this is the way telling Jesus telling them, don't fear.
So he is far above the rest who has control over all the storms in our lives. He can overcome. They have some faith in him, some admiration for him. That's why they are with him. They left their nets, fishing occupation, they came. But he, through this calming of the storm, he is leading them to full faith, to greater faith in him. And that gradually happens. To the readers for whom Mark wrote this, they were the persecution. To them, Mark presents this miracle as an answer to their stormy life, to their life of oppression, suppression, persecution. To us as individuals, and a society, as a church, going through all kinds of difficulties, opposition, the number of problems the community is facing. The only unshakable rock who has authority over nature, over evil force, over physical illness, even over death is Jesus. Sticking to him is life. Abandoning him is death. This is a challenge. Who is this that even the wind and the storm obey? This miracle of calming the sea and the next few miracles, his exercising power over nature, over demonic powers, over physical ailment.
which is eternal life, is the way of truth and life for each one of us. Let us follow Him. Let us concentrate on Him. Let us fix our eyes upon Him, so that He will be the leader for each one of us to to eternal life. And He reflects, and He pours out His Spirit upon us to go out into the community, serve the community, help the poor and needy in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us pray for our pray for our world. East and West, North and South, every part of this world, we bring at the feet of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us ask God to bless our, 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 our nation, bless our world. Let us pray for your countries. Let us pray for African countries. Let us pray for Asian countries. Let us pray for every human being on this earth. So let us pray for the justice and peace in the whole world and for fullness of life for everyone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who live in the city of Bangalore, for the removal of all that divides us from each other, discrimination, politics, problems, caste, creed, divisions amongst humanity. And let us pray for the true harmony in our country. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all engaged in agriculture, let us remember the farmers, let us remember the people who work in the field, let us remember their struggle, let us remember their problems, their difficulties. Many farmers have been suicide themselves because no proper rain, no proper feed, no proper crop. So let us remember all those people, let God who be with them and help them. Let us pray for the industry and commerce, for all laborers, people who work in domestic sector. Let us pray for housekeeping personalities. Let us pray for people who work in our homes. During this COVID situation, many of them lost their jobs. So let us remember them and keep them at the feet of God. And let us pray for the craftsmen and for all who provide for our needs. Lord, in our mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for teachers and students. Still struggle is going on. Many poor children are suffering. There is no proper online classes for them because they do not have smartphones. They don't have internet. They are struggling to catch the, catch the teaching. The teachers are teaching. Some students are struggling to pay their fees for the schools. Let us pray for the division of the school, of the teachers, and the management, all entire school and the students. Let us pray for the parents who are struggling to pay their fees because they do not have proper jobs. Let us pray for the poor and hungry on the streets, destitute on the streets. Let us pray for oppressed, vulnerable children, vulnerable women, vulnerable elderly. 
we commit them into your hands. Let us pray for unending light. Crows of people lost their jobs. Crows of people, they have lost their livelihood. They went to depths. Struggling to recover from the problems. Let us pray for the sick. Due to the COVID, so many people are on ventilators, so many people are on oxygen. There are so many people who do not have proper, proper uh, medical care for them. Have mercy upon them. There are so many people who are dying with this coronavirus. Lord, have mercy upon them. Hear our prayer. For all whom authority is entrusted in this and other countries, and especially for our president, the prime minister, the governor, and chief minister of our state of Karnataka, and for all who have power over other people, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the unity of all Christian people, and for their witnesses, or, and in and service in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. your prayer. For your whole church in our country, for its committees, <coughs> pastors, and leaders, and especially those of the Vishanti community churches, and for all other ministers of your church, that they may be faithful in their ministry. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear your prayer. That with all your people who have faithfully served you in this life, we also may share in the eternal joy of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray together. Haste as heavenly Father, the coming of your kingdom, and grant these petitions that we offer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. We are now to move on to the breaking of the bread. Now is the most appropriate time for us to call to mind our unworthiness, our sinfulness. Through our misdeeds,
Jesus said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood and leaves in me, and I in them. Having now with faith received this holy sacrament, it has given thanks to God. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you ourselves to be a living sacrifice.
Gott. Amen.